Hey preppers, this is the Homestead Prepper. I want to talk with y'all about a military tactic called a diversion. And um, y'all yeah, have seen it in movies and TV and usually what happens is they blow something up to divert everyone's attention away from the area that they want to get to and get um, you know the money or the code machine or whatever. Uh, y'all are familiar with that. Um, uh, another diversion you know, could be like, you know, if you had some, some buildings you wanted to blow up and uh, what you do is you fly some airplanes into them and uh, you have some guy over here who uh, has a remote control device and he sets off some controlled demolitions in the buildings and uh, that diverts everyone's attention that those airplanes actually caused the collapse of those buildings. You can even have a, another building collapse and uh, get the media on your side and say that it was caused by the airplane and anyone who uh, who disagreed with that then then they would say they're crazy of course now this is all you know hypothetical um, another hypothetical scenario which um, may be coming true one day which I hope it doesn't but uh, hypothetically let's say a few years from now that the government checks don't go out or they do go out and they're worthless you're going to have people freak out and uh, they're going to start looting because they're hungry and they didn't prep and they're going to try and take everything they can from everybody. So what you're going to do in your community is you're going to try to organize your friends, your family, and your neighbors and uh, get some security and you're going to try and protect your homestead and you know whether you live in an apartment, um, you live in a subdivision, the country, whatever. This is what you're going to try to do and try and keep your stuff and you're going to try to survive. Uh, now what I have here is um, this is sort of a representation of where I live. I kind of live in the semi-country and what we have is we have a neighbor across the street who has about 30 acres and he has uh, about 50 cows. So we would organize and we would try to watch everyone's homestead and uh, we have Somebody over here is growing corn. We have some woods over here. These are the cows, and these are the people who are trying to guard the food source. Now, what you have is a gang who is wanting to create a diversion, and uh, they're going to come out of this swamp over here. Okay? These are cypress trees. Notice they're fat on the bottom. And everyone thought that there was no way people would come through this swamp because it's too nasty, too many gators too slimy and all that. Well, that is what a uh, opposing force is going to pick. The place where you think least likely they're going to strike. That's where they're going to strike. And they, let's just say hypothetically they fire a flaming arrow over here into the neighbor's house. He has the largest house. They set that one on fire and I fired my bow, of course never flaming, and has gone you know over 400 yards, 450 yards, you know right, right around a quarter of a mile. So they could be some ways away and set this house on fire. All right, and when that house catches on fire, everyone's going to go nuts. These people are, you're instinctually going to want to run over here and help put the fire out. Well, if the guy who's in charge has anything on the ball, he's just going to have maybe one person come over here and help. And they still leave this thing guarded, come over here. This person will come over here. And uh, then what the uh, diversionary force is going to do is when these people over here start putting out the fire, they're going to start shooting, okay? And then that's going to really get everybody wanting to move over here. And then if everyone comes over here to help out, then these cows, you had a trailer and a truck here, and these people were waiting. They're going to come over here and they're going to steal as many cows as they can get on that trailer. And they're going to accomplish their mission. And uh, this is what you want to avoid. Uh, uh, one way I see to avoid that is have your, your defensive forces in here all around you, but you also want to have roving patrols. Okay. And that way, if you're roving and you over here and you see these people over here getting ready to set up something, then you need to take care of it. And likewise, you need to have people we're going to be out in the swamp roving through that as nasty as it may be. Uh, anyway, that's just one idea. If y'all have any other ideas or comments, uh, I'd be glad to hear it and we can all help each other out. Homestead Prepper out.